Hi everyone, my name is Megan and this is how to be a super friend at home. Today we are talking about limb differences, but before we talk about it, I think we should spell the word limb. So it starts with an L, then an I, then an M as in Megan, and then there's a B on the end, but it's silent when I say it. And a limb is part of the body that sticks out from the body that can move, bend, help you grasp onto things or hold onto things. And it tends to come in pairs, meaning that there's two of them. So can you think of a body part that may be considered a limb? If you were thinking of your arms, you got it, but your legs are considered a limb too. And a limb, like I said, can be either on a person's body, so a human, or an animal's body. So if you were to picture a person right now, you would probably picture someone with two arms and two legs, and on every arm, there's a hand with five fingers. On every leg, there's a foot with five toes. That's probably something like what you would picture in your head. But sometimes people may have a limb difference. So a limb difference means that someone is missing either part of a limb or the entire limb. So maybe they're missing their entire left arm. Maybe their arm stops at their wrist. Maybe they're missing some fingers. Maybe they're missing some toes on one leg. Maybe they're missing their leg past their knee. You get the idea. And a limb difference is either something that someone was born with or it happens to them over time. So if you read Rescue and Jessica with me a few videos ago, that's the story of Jessica who has an accident and she develops a limb difference after she, her legs have to be removed in surgery. A limb difference is nothing that someone can control and it's not a sickness, it's not something that they did wrong, not something that you can catch. It's just something that makes them different and unique. Just like we all have things about us that make us unique and special from those around us. Now I've been talking a lot about these limb differences, but I think it would be very helpful if we can meet someone who has one. And since we're all at home right now, we can go to on YouTube. So if you want to go to YouTube with me, all you're going to do is at the top, type in what is normal, born just right. And you'll hit search. And the first video that pops up is this one. So if you watch it with me, you'll meet someone named Jordan Reeves. And I think you'll really enjoy meeting her. So if you want to watch that right now, take a moment and I'll be waiting here. Okay, did you enjoy the video? I know that I did. I love meeting Jordan. And I think she gave us a lot of great advice. One thing that she said was that, well, she was asking us not to stare at her arm. And that makes sense because can you imagine if every time you went out, if every time you met someone new, every time you went to school, people were just staring at you? Do you think that you would like that? After a while, it may make you feel funny, make you feel like other people are looking at you make you imagine what they could be thinking about you. It's not really something that a super friend would do. Instead, Jordan asked us to ask her questions. You could ask her, hey, are you okay with telling me what happened to your arm? Or are you okay with telling me how you brush your hair? And if Jordan decides she wants to share that with you, she can. A limb difference clearly does not hold Jordan back. She mentions that she went to dance classes and she even made that awesome arm that shoots out glitter. I thought that was the coolest thing. And that brings me to the next part of the video. So Jordan said something like, this is my prosthetic arm that shoots out glitter. And a prosthetic arm or a prosthetic limb is just part of the body that someone with special skills makes so that someone with a limb difference 
can have a limb that can grasp onto things, hold onto things, that can help them run. Now, not everyone with a limb difference gets a prosthetic limb. Sometimes they may not even want it. And clearly, Jordan's able to function just fine without her prosthetic arm. But sometimes someone with a limb difference may choose to get one. And if you wanna see some pictures of prosthetic arms, I can show you. So, let's see here. So, here we have a little boy with a prosthetic leg, with a prosthetic foot. We have a girl with a prosthetic arm and she's still able to make this heart symbol. And then we have a whole bunch of kids on top getting ready for a race. And they have prosthetic legs. And these look so cool to me. And they help them be able to run on a track just like you or I can do. And something else really cool about prosthetics is that they're not only for humans. So check out all these animals. We have an elephant with a prosthetic leg, a turtle with a prosthetic fin helping him swim. We could look at this pig that has wheels instead of legs on the back. And this dog in the bottom, all four of his legs have prosthetics on them. I, I really like looking at the different animal pictures of prosthetics on Google. And I found my pictures at all of these websites. Okay, so now I thought we could read a book about someone that has a limb difference. And I wasn't able to find a picture book, but I did find a chapter book. The chapter book is recommended for grades three to five, but I think it's really entertaining for anyone. And you can just listen to the teacher reading it to her class online. And I, I think you'll really enjoy it. So if you want to uh, read the book with me, we're just gonna go to YouTube again. And in the search bar, you will type in insignificant events in the life of a cactus chapter one. And this book, uh, this uh, video from Boulevard Intermediate School is perfect. It goes through the chapter. Like I said, it's very entertaining. So if you wanna read that with me, take a second here, pause this video, and go to that other one. Okay, did you like meeting Avon? I really thought she was funny and so entertaining. I thought it was interesting how Avon, starting in kindergarten, started to tell her classmates funny stories about what happened to her arms. And as I thought about it, I think she may have started to do this so that people wouldn't stare at her so that people wouldn't ask her the same questions all the time or make her feel funny because she was born without arms. I kind of want to read the rest of that book now. Today, I hope that you enjoyed learning about limb differences with me. I'll see you next time on how to be a super friend. All right, bye.